Well, ciao, 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 Svima. How you doing? Charles here. Great state of Illinois. And I'm only here for two more days. It's almost time for me to depart, to depart and head down to Florida and then to Russia and then back in Serbia on October 4th. Whoa, man, this year has flew by. The summer has flown by. Uh, and it's time for me to go. Anyway, what I'm going to do today, really, really cool thing. A gentleman bought me this book. He brought me this book. He is the author, and his name is Mio Dragilic, and it's Serbian Traditional Recipes. So what I've done, I've picked a really awesome recipe in here. I've sent my mother. She uh, thinks she can find some of these uh, things here in the middle of Illinois. So she went to try to find some of these ingredients, and I'm going to make one of these. I'm going to be Chef Charles today, and we'll see how good I can prepare a Serbian meal. Stay tuned. Okay, the book I was telling you about, Traditional Serbian Food and Recipes by Mildrag Ilic. Awesome book. I mean, it's it's got a lot. It's in English language and in Chirilica. And it's got all the regions of Serbia in it. Uh, you've got Serbian culture, Serbian food through history, blah, blah, blah. Vojvodina, Eastern Serbia... Uh, Central Serbia, Western Serbia, South Serbia, all the different delicacies and things. And it tells you, you can look at it in Cerelica. It's always got a picture of it. It tells you exactly in English language how to prepare it. And so what we decided, it was an Eastern Serbia meal that we're going to make. I just picked something that looked pretty good. Opa bottle, where did it go? There it is. Pod Varak, Eastern Serbia. Time of recording, early 20th century, preserved through time by Sneja Knezevic. Photo by Snežina Knezevic, prepared by Sneja Knezevic. Opa, Miss Knezevic, Havala vam puno. It's a lunch meal for three or four people. One kilogram of sauerkraut, one onion, 100 grams of bacon or ham, according to taste. One cup of rice which we're currently on a keto diet, so we're going to substitute with cauliflower rice, two to three bay leaves, one clove garlic, several prunes, dried plums without pits, one tablespoon of lard, one teaspoon paprika, black pepper. So anyway, we've got all of this stuff here. Let's see if we got some little advice. If you dislike prunes, you may leave them out. The recipe didn't add leaving salt because sauerkraut is usually salty enough. Really cool. It's got a picture of what, what it's going to look like. Not the most pretty picture, I guess, but... Anyway, I've had this before. It's phenomenal, and I hope mine is just as phenomenal. We'll see in a little bit. But anyway, Mr. Illich, Mio Drag Illich, and there's the book. Check it out. Thick one. It's got everything. Sweets, all regions of Serbia. Really, really awesome. Hopefully, it'll make me an awesome chef. Add, add the sauerkraut and spices. Add the sauerkraut and spices. Here's the rice. Okay, ciao, ciao, Svima. I am finished with Podvarak. Here it is. It's got the plum in it. We substituted the rice because I'm currently uh, on the keto diet. So I can't eat rice, uh, bread, pasta, things like that. So we use cauliflower in place of it. It's got the cauliflower, uh, sauerkraut, prunes, ham. And of course it wasn't a good smoked ham, but it's good. And it's, like it's sitting there, I'm a huge salt nut. And so this 
sauerkraut makes it salty, but I added some more salt to it. I think it's nice. Even with the cauliflower in, in, uh, rice, it tastes good. The plums give it a little sweetness. Paprika, you can taste the paprika in there and the garlic. And did you see the squeezed garlic? Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, and garlic, welcome to the United States of America. Did you even know they made squeeze garlic? So, squeeze a big glob. <laughs> see that? Unbelievable. Only in America. Anyway, good stuff from the traditional Serbian recipe book. Can't wait to try something else. Take care.